hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for being here if you are new you are welcome Aquaba. if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please kindly do so by hitting on the subscribe button don't forget to like and comment on my videos and also turn on your notification for more content like this so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to cut and sew asymmetric peplum and it's beginners friendly so if this is what you like to learn stay till the end of the video you'll not regret it i've laid down the necessary tools needed for the peplum and i have a doll face satin a brother satin and the other tools needed for the tutorial so without wasting much of your time let's get on with the video so i'll be using this pattern paper for illustration and after i will transfer on the fabric to show you how to sew it so making this asymmetric peplum flare as shown on the screen you will be needing your waistline circumference and then the next thing you need is the length of the peplum so the waist circumference i'm working with is 23 inches plus 2 inches for the zipper allowance make it 25 inches and as you can see on the screen the peplum has a pleat inside so to get the pleat I need to add extra inches so I added 10 inches to the 25 inches making 35 inches the whole waist circumference I'm working with is 35 inches so the next thing to do is to know how much fabric you will be folding for the peplum in this case you'll be dividing your waist circumference which is 35 inches by 6.28 and by so doing i got 5.5 so the 5.5 is the radius of the waist circumference is the radius that i'm going to be using so now to know the length of the fabric to use you will be adding the radius which is 5.5 inches to the length of the peplum i'm using 8 inches is together with the hemming allowance so 8 plus 5.5 is 13.5 inches so the length that i need to fold is 13.5 by 13.5 hope is clear now i have folded my pattern into two like this and I fold it again into four. So I'm going to mark the length, which is 13.5 inches for the length and the radius of the peplum. So this makes it easier and it helps you not to waste a lot of fabric. And also if you want to cut it direct on your fabric, you use the same method. To fold the fabric, you need your radius plus the length of your peplum. And I'm drawing a straight line. So this is our radius is 5.5 plus 8 inches for the peplum length. So in all it's 13 and a half. So we have 13 and a half inches here, 13 and a half inches here too, and also here. 13 and a half inches. I'm going to cut it out and then start imputing the measurements. So the next thing to do is to place my tape at the tip of the folded edge here and then mark my radius which is 5.5 inches. And I'm going to mark it all round. And then I'm going to connect the dots. So this is my radius 5.5 inches. That's the waistline. The next thing to do is to mark 
the eight inches for the length and this is the eight inches here and i'm going to mark the eight inches all round or you can still put the tape at the tip of the folded edge and then mark your 13 and a half inches all round that one will be easy and i'm going to connect all the points round like so so guys i'll be using the marker so that you see it clearly so now that we finish marking the radius and the length of the pepper before cutting it we are going to manipulate the symmetric style now so what we are going to do you see on the opening part here the pointed parts we are going to count one two three pieces on top here but we are going to leave the last paper on the bottom we are just we are going to cut the three layers because this is where this is what we are going to use for the asymmetric when you raise the three layers up you are going to start cutting off this line like so don't cut the last one beneath because you you cut it you are just going to get a round circle you are not going to get the asymmetric you want so let's cut the three layers out first So after cutting, this is what we have. So now I'm going to cut off the radius, that's the waistline. So let me show you the back. This is how it looks. So what we are going to do next is to notch the middle here so that I can get it right. So we are going to be opening it up first before we notch it. So when you open it, this is how it look. And then, you see how it look. You see this, this line? It's supported like this. I'm going to notch the back. This is where the sister is going to be. And this is the front. This is the back, this is the front. I'm going to notch it like this. And I'm going to open it up again. I'm going to draw a straight line here and I'm going to draw a straight line here this is a zipper line so what we are going to be doing next to get our symmetric line is to measure 8 inches here this is where the 8 inches ends here and then you are coming here and then mark 8 inches and then mark 8 inches here so that's the length of our pepper our pepper is 8 inches as you can remember it's 8 inches and then you are going to connect this line like this you are going to cut it up like this our symmetric is formed as you can see either you leave it like this or as it's shown on the screen, you see that they put bias all around it and even the edge here, they put bias. So what I'm going to do is to cut this into two like this. You see, our symmetric peplum is ready. I'll just pin it and show you something. I'm going to cut through the zip line also. We have our two pieces, so I'll just pin it for you guys to see how it is before transferring it on the fabric and I will start the sewing. So this is our front, one folded, this is our back, so guys this is it, our asymmetric peplum is ready. The next thing to do is to cut it on the fabric and sew it and come and show you how it looks. So I cut it on the fabric. This is the back for the zipper, one inch. That's why I mark it for you for two inches, one inch for each side. It's two inches for the zipper. And I'm going to be using this bias on the edges as shown on the screen. 
So this is the finishing look. I iron interfacing inside to give you that standing structure effect. And it's looking so beautiful and nice. So this is our asymmetric peplum flare. So beautiful and nice. So the only thing is for you to join it with your basic half bodies and it will come out nicely. So if my tutorial on how to make this asymmetric uh, peplum flare has been helpful to you and is useful, please give me a giant thumbs up and also subscribe if you've not done so and also share my videos and leave comment down the comment section. I'm ever ready to answer your questions. Thank you so much and I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye.